Hello everyone, I am going to be playing Battle for Wesnoth today. Battle for Wesnoth is a free and open source game, so you can go and download it and play it to your heart's content without spending a penny. I would like to thank the developers very much for this. Um, it has been a perennial favourite game of mine over the years, and particularly the developer of the campaign Invasion from the Unknown, which we are going to be playing today. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. There are many campaigns here. Invasion for the Unknown doesn't come as a default with the game, but you can download it and you can play it in your own time very, very easily using the add-ons menu. I'm just going to jump straight on in. I'm going to play on normal difficulty because although I'm moderately good at this game, I am by no means an expert. I know this game, this campaign gets brutally hard towards the end. So let's see, let's uh, start from here and see how we get on. Today I'm just going to be doing the first scenario. And here we go. Warning. Some scenarios of this campaign work significantly different from normal Wesnoth gameplay. It is especially important to pay close attention to the mission objectives and not necessarily try to kill every single enemy, especially on shrouded maps or in places where enemies seem to respawn continuously. Side note, there's quite a lot of that in later levels and it's really quite annoying, but we will get to that. It's also fun and challenging. Although not strictly required, players are advised to become familiar with the stories, characters, and historical events presented in Under the Burning Suns and optionally descent into darkness before playing this campaign. Yeah, so there are spoilers for Under the Burning Suns in this campaign. If you haven't played that campaign, do go away and play it. It's brilliant, and I would recommend doing that sooner rather than later. Um, in, for my money, it's the best of the campaigns that ships with Battle for Wesnoth, so uh, yeah, that's a recommendation. Certain sequences make use of floating labels, halos, and standing unit animations, so you might want to make sure those options are enabled under Preferences Display. And in my case, they should be so. From the personal journal of Lord Gallus of the Forest Elves. Our ancestors settled this land ages ago, seeking shelter from the hostile outside world. They hailed from forests which have long withered away. The endless expanse of sand could not possibly offer our kind much more than vicious enemies and a slow, agonizing death. It is said that thousands of elves fell before the survivors finally came across this green valley. As if by the grace of the Lords of Light themselves, it emerged from the ruins of a once green and lush world in our moment of dire need. Defending our valley from intruders has never been an easy task. A small portion of our troops are trained in the ways of navigating and fighting in the sands from a young age, and assigned to patrol groups in charge of warding our frontiers. It is not a particularly rewarding mission, but it has allowed us to prosper as a united people. My father was on duty, leading his group one night against a band of nomadic hunters. Barbarians unwilling to converse with speaking creatures not born of their kin's blood, and only intent on conquering and taking what they believe theirs by right. A sling bullet broke his skull as he defended an injured comrade. At the time I was shocked by his death, a graceless end to a valiant life. I cried for the last time at his funeral. On memory of him, I swore to become the best, advancing beyond the ranks of my comrades until I was one of the best fighters and commanders amongst my people, despite my age. Anne Linde has taken care of me like her own son since then. She has been to me the mother I never had, often spending far too much time caring for me rather than her own duties with the wounded and infirm. Scenario 1. Border Patrol Recently, the frequency and intensity of the hostile incursions has increased. We can detect no single hand behind them, but it is as if they were thrust into our domains by some force greater than their own petty greed and rage. They throw themselves onto our blades and arrows as if death were a better alternative than retreat. Our patrol groups are growing in size to resist, 
the pace of recruiting is becoming harder to maintain. Most people do not crave the chance to risk their lives in combat against such determined foes. Then one day, we discovered the source of the Outsider's frenzy. Do you wish to see brief descriptions of the characters when you select them on the map for the first time? Well, yes, let's see them. Move on, you sluggards. Let's claim these lands for the master. Be careful. We were warned that there are still elves in this valley. No matter. We'll tear them to pieces if they dare oppose us. A host of humans in the southern dunes. It has been quite a long time since any of them have wandered here in such numbers. What should we do? According to our laws, we should always grant refuge to wanderers, but I suggest I sense hostility from this group. It would be wise to observe them for a while, but let us be prepared for the worst nonetheless. Very well. Okay, so in this mission, um, we basically just have to not die, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, by the instructions, you can already tell that this is not going to be an entirely peaceful mission. Start recruiting units in advance, just in case. Okay, so let's see what we've got on the map. So Gallus, he's our hero. He's got a slightly deeper voice um, in my rendering. He's an elvish fighter. He can result as a captain or a hero, and how he develops is up to me. And, you know, this is a tricky decision, because if he becomes a captain, then he will get better leadership skills. He'll be able to inspire units around him, but if he becomes a hero, he'll be a bit tankier and just better at fighting in general, but without that leadership ability. Um, so it's kind of hard to know which to go for. Still don't know. I'll have to get him experience points before we get to that decision point. Um, the tricky thing about this is that in the early stages of the game, leadership is very useful. In the later stages of the game, everyone's high level anyway, so it doesn't make so much difference. Um, so I'm always tempted to go with the, the hero and then champion option. Um, but we shall see. I'll try and go for a mix of both. So this guy, Quosor, doesn't have a description. Um, he may not be long for this world. He's not even loyal. That's some sort of bird. Um, I forget what they do. We got our houses in the back, down here. Um, and we don't get any useful description of these guys. Okay, so I can start recruiting. Um, usual options for recruiting elves here, um, the only extra one is this hunter option here, which originally comes from under the burning sands here. Um, this is a unit that can slow people, so might be handy to have a few of those, especially if we're fighting a defensive battle. Okay, so I'll start with a bit of a mix. The elvish ar archers are they're pretty weak, but they are absolute beasts, so um, handy to have a few of them around too. For shaman. And I've got a scout out, because the scouts are fast. They can capture the outlying buildings so that we can get some gold income going. Alright. Um, and that's turn one. Yep, they don't look too peaceful, do they? We shall see what they get up to. Okay, so Quosor is doing some scouting for us. Um, this guy is going to go and grab that house over there. Quosor can come... Uh, actually, can these guys reach it? Yes, this guy can just reach it, so then Quosor can go further. You go down and stand in the woods. Elves are tougher in the woods, they're harder to hit. Um, everyone come forward. And it doesn't look like anything's going to attack us immediately, so we don't need to worry too much about being super defensive. Oh, this lady is slow. Try and recruit another one so that I can get one. With these uh, shaman type units, um, movement 5 and movement 6 makes a big difference. So 
And I want to try and get one, ideally, who is quick, and then their movement six. Um, but <laughs> not having any luck. All right, so we've not got that much money left. Let's see what else we can do. Let's have some hunters as well. And then enough money for two more people. Might as well make them expensive because we have the money. So we'll have another archer and another scout, and then we are out. Right, Gallas, run, run forward and get yourself killed. No, don't do that. I will lose if that happens, and I'll bet you that probably will happen, because I'm streaming, or, well, I'm recording. That falcon is parked up next to one of my dudes. I think that means they attack. Let us see. Yep. I don't know why. Ooh, that's loud. I'm not entirely sure why the wildlife is so brutal in this scenario for some reason, but uh, there it is. Uh, a couple of my guys have got a little bit of experience from it, though, so uh, that's something. Another level naught, so if you kill them, you get experience. Um, let's try and give the shaman lady some experience. Nope, 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 nope. All right, let's try and give Galas some experience. You go and stand on that rock and attack the bird. Congratulations, Galas. You've earned your first experience points. And you can go there. Now, these guys are advancing towards us, but they are taking their time. Um, none of them look too horrifically tanky. We've basically got a fighter type unit here, the Chaos Invader. Um, we've got this range type unit, this bowman type unit here. Um, and the other type of unit we've got is, is this Invoker, who is a magic user. Um, they are quite weak, easy to beat up in melee combat, but they've got a nasty blast attack that is very good at hitting, even, even at hitting elves in forests. Okay, so... Uh, how defensive am I going to play this? I want to get some. I want to get some uh, some houses at least, so that I can have some gold income. So you, you go forward, and you stay there because you need to heal up. Um, actually, no, you can step forward. This lady will heal you a little bit. Um, you come out to here for now, and you can come out into these forests. Oops, misclick. I'm trying to unclick that. Units will move at the beginning of their turn if you uh, if you don't. Everyone come out. Everyone be ready to fight. See, so you'll see I like to put the elves into the trees if I can. They are happy in the trees. It doesn't make any difference. Um, they're just harder to hit when they're in the trees. That's the crucial thing. Uh, looks like someone's going to probably show up here. Um, either that or I will get to go there and recruit with my own leader. I can't remember, it's been too long since I played this. Um, yeah, no one close, so I'll go out a bit further. And uh, you can enjoy the basic, beautiful Wesnoth music in the meantime while nothing is happening. Oh, we got one of those horse guys over there. So these these Chaos dudes are not all that different from the regular humans that you normally fight in Wesnoth. The main difference being that um, they prefer to fight at night rather than during the day. Don't go into a house. Yes. Okay. That's good. Um, attack! Leave no one alive! There it is. They are attacking us! Yep. Weren't predicting that. Not even slightly. Our laws are very clear and strict on this matter. We shall not let hostile outsiders enter our valley. Repel them. And the mission is to defeat both of them. So how are we doing for time of day? It is the afternoon, so these guys are not great during the afternoon, but nevertheless, I don't think I'm gonna run forward and attack them because that's not the most advantageous thing to do. Instead, I'm going to hang around and uh, play more defensively for a little while. So let's try and defend. There's a lone 
outcropping here. We can defend that. Um, and okay, so you. How far are you away? That far away. You, no one will be able to attack me this turn, not even the horsey horsey. So good. Um, in that case, you guys park up here. And I'm going to stick a couple of shamans behind you to heal any damage that is done in the future and then we might have a couple of turns of just sitting there and uh, seeing what happens. You go around there, you've been attacked by the birds, you've been attacked by the birds, you can go all get all of the healing and um, you folks hang around in the forest and try and defend on this flank. Is this going to go horribly wrong? Of course it's going to go horribly wrong. I'm, I'm recording after all. Try that. Good. So, it's the dusk sound, and the falcon has flown off the map and will not pester us anymore. Why do they never go and attack the enemies? It'd be nice if they attack the enemies. Okay. So they're making, they're taking it slow. They're clearly um, trying to get us on the attack at night. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Um, maybe I'll pull back a bit more, because I don't really want them attacking me at night. He's going to get in and be able to attack that horseman. Uh, yeah, one of them is. So, am I going to allow that, or am I going to pull back? Uh, I'll pull back a bit. Uh, archers to the back, fighters to the front. You can go over there, we're a bit uneven. Kale, sorry, not Kale. Kale is the leader in the other campaign, the Under the Burning Suns campaign that I just played. He is also an elven dude, so yeah, sorry, not sorry. Here we have Galas, and he's going to stand there and uh, hide until he gets a chance to get some easy kills, because that's what you want to do with your leader. Mm, could have been worse. That should be healed. Yay! Okay, so now they are actually going to hit us. I think we're going to pull back even more, pull back into the valley, defend these uh, these walls. So let's do that. Yep, you go up onto the mountain, and the rest of you fall back, fall back. Uh, you should be safe over there. And yeah, you do not want to stand there. I know you're in the trees, but it's not the best place to be. Okay, they'll capture our outlying houses. That's fine. We got a little bit of gold out of them before that happened. All right, so they'll often head up the attacks with these mage dudes. That's not really all that surprising, given that... Uh, the mages are better at attacking people who are well defended. So what are we going to do? Um, how tough are you? Um, oh, you're an absolute weakling. De dexterous and quick, that's not very useful. You're intelligent and resilient, so yeah, you just stand here and uh, tank some damage if you can. Uh, 
not down, but not doing too great. Now you go back. And see who's tough. <laughs> I'm not doing very good on, on tough dudes. Um, okay. You're pretty tough. You can go there. And uh, I'll put... I'll see if I can find a moderately tough archer and stick him on the front lines. No, go on. Um, Galas can go on the front lines. I don't think he's going to get killed instantly. He can always go home and rest. And let's see how this goes. It's second dawn, so these guys are now going to be attacking us during the day. The elves don't give a crap when they fight. These chaos people do, and they'll get worse as the day goes on when it's light. Looking bad for this guy. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, they hit hard, these. Uh, oh, come on. That's a not fantastic start. I think they got a little bit lucky there with some of their hits. Well, what can you do? Uh, what you can do is... Slow. And can anyone get around the side? Put you there and uh, deal some extra damage. And then over here, oh, I want to get this guy out of my, out of my hair. <laughs> um, the ah, ah, okay. Um, what else? Who else can can I bring in to try and deal with this one? Did I did I only recruit one hunter? Did my other hunter just get killed? I think my other hunter just got killed. Well, that sucks. Maybe Gallus is going to have to go home and hire some new new dudes. You go there. Um, who's, you're dexterous. All right, you have a go at clearing out this guy. Fingers crossed. All right. Yes, okay. That's that. Then uh, you can't get there. Um, how about you? You're going to have a crack at it. Yeah. If I get a little bit lucky, I should be able to take out this mage. <laughs> Lovely. But he's going to die next turn, unfortunately, because these guys, he's on the corner and three people can attack him. <laughs> um, okay. You, or you, you're dexterous, so you come down here. I'll deal some damage. Okay, this turn is going to hurt, but hopefully after that I'll be able to start clearing things up. This side looks to be the more threatening area, so I'm just going to move this archer over. That's what I like to see. Ah, flipping mages. Ow. Not dead. Yes. Okay, a little bit of experience for Kala. Uh, Galas. Oh, you know, I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? I'm just going to keep doing that. Maybe time for you to go back for a constitutional. That's jammy! Three hits out of three. On 40%. <laughs> Remember this moment. If I lose, that's going to be why. Okay. Kali. Um, Galas. Galas, 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 Galas. You go home. You go home and 
freshen up and I think what we really need right now is some more hunters so or maybe some more fighters I'm gonna go for a fighter they're cheaper as well okay this guy is looking a bit beat up you can you take out this guy I want an archer for that an archer's probably gonna die but never mind And you just um, start laying some smack down on this guy here. In the meantime, you can go home and get some healing in. Can she? Can he? Uh, okay, he's going to go into the defences if I do that. Okay. Uh, all right, I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to inadvisably stick a fighter on this side. It's Quosor, it's uh, our uh, speaky speaky elf from the start. And Lemurea, you are going to slow down this horseman. Oh, you're going to try to and fail. That is also fine. I mean, it's not fine, but uh, we take what we can get. Um, this flank uh, is getting a bit beaten up. This scout has got quite a lot of experience now. It would be nice if we could get him to survive <laughs> but that's always easier said than done um how are we gonna play this everyone here looks like they're getting a bit whacked i'm gonna take out these um okay um where are you going go up there into the into the forest or into the rocks um you go up there you're all right up there and hopefully you won't get instantly killed by some archers in the meantime, you come down here and try and attack. Well, what are the odds? Four hits, I should be able to take out this invoker. Nope, but, uh, well, wasn't really expecting that. Okay, which of you two is tougher? You're both pretty tough. Um, so you come down here and slow down, or maybe just whack with a stick. Um... I'm going to go with slow down. Okay. You can attack this guy. All right. That's what I'm talking about. And now you go back there to get some healing in. And you can slow down the horse. All right, slow horse. Um, should be able to make this without everyone dying, I hope. This guy is going down, unfortunately. The mage just got him, I think. Yeah. Slow, 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 slow. Yes, yes. this? Let's see. It's certainly taking a lot of casualties. And I think all my fighters have died now, so it's good I recruited another one. Phew, okay. Um, you come around here and slow this one, if you can. Damn it. Okay, you just try and whack this one. And I think I will just about trust you to... Um, or maybe, you know, you can't get round. Dang. Yep, you do it. And then you can come down here and um, try and lay some beat down on this Magus. 
ineffectively. Brilliant. Well, it's still the daytime, so that helps. <laughs> Not that that's been uh, saving us so far. All right, you come around here. It's everyone for themselves, and you slow the horse. I don't know why I'm slowing the horse. I'm just going to kill the horse. Um, I'll try. Okay, the horse is not quite dead, but uh, we can work with this. To ah, oh, I want to get this mage. My this mage is, is is cramping my style. Um, you try and shoot. Mm, that's not going to be very effective. Oh, how much is that's a seventeen? Be more effective, but this this lady can't move, so she's probably going to die as well. Wonderful. So, all right, 23. All right, no, give it a go. One more, no. Nah. Couldn't hope for that. You slow down this guy. All right, worst possible outcome. And you get some attacks in. And you... Can you come down here and kill this one for me? Not quite, but you can do pretty well. Alright, can't recruit any more units yet. Um, get ye to a healer, and then we'll see what happens this turn. Survive, survive, survive. Survive, 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 survive. Slow, 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 slow. Yes. Oh, you go, lady. So, where are we? It's coming up to the evening. Um, <laughs> my main squads have been chopped into mincemeat on the uh, right hand flank, stage left, I guess. And yeah, this is not looking brilliant. But on the other hand, on the right hand side, on, on your left, my left too. Um, don't know why I would look at it from the other way around, but there you go. On that side, things are looking okay. So, and there's a lot of very badly wounded units here, which means I can choose or try and choose who's going to get some kills. Um, now, this scout is probably going to die anyway. It's probably going to level up and then die anyway, which is really frustrating, but uh, not much I can do about that other than maybe run him away. And that would essentially involve giving up this flank completely. Maybe that's the right strategic decision at this point. There's some mountains there, so they'll be slow going through. Um, yeah, you run. Can anyone get you from there? They can. So you run back here. And now we should be okay. So this horse person going to come around here, where it's a little bit safer, then still might die, but uh, such is the way of horsey, horsey, horse people. And hopefully, yes, you get the finisher. Um, what now? You pull back a little bit, I will redeploy you in a second. Um, I want you to take out this archer, if, this invader, if you can. You can, that is good. You're already well towards a level up. And I'm going to go in with Galas and take out this Chaos Invoker. Yes, right. Now Galas just has to not die on the front lines. You step back. You step forward. Um... No, nine health. 
and you finish the job. A uh, bit of a waste of uh, damage potential there, but there we go. Okay, now, uh, let us see. Galas will now probably get killed by this mage. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen. Or you can attack that guy, that's fine too. Oh, oh that's not good. Ooh. Lucky. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Okay. Now I should be able to start cleaning these guys up a bit. Um, <laughs> don't want to get too cocky about it because it's night time now and they are more powerful at night. So how best to go about this? this all of their combat units are now down. It's, uh, it's the archers who are the problem. Um, so I guess I should start... Uh, trouble is, <laughs> the enemy doesn't... Um, the enemy is not doing not doing great for combat units, but neither am I. So, <laughs> fantastic. Um, Galas, you want to get home and recruit me another fighter, I think, or maybe even a hunter. Um, let's go fighter. And then, yeah, you get over here and try and kill this one. And now maybe you can get the kill in, though you will also take damage if you do that. What about this? I, mean, I could sacrifice this guy, I think that might be the best bet. Bring him over here. Oh, come on! Alright, so it'll be the archer after all. Oh no, okay, that went very badly. Um, lady, come and help me out. Whack him, whack him, whack him, whack him! Ah, oh, he whacked you! Okay. <laughs> this is not looking good. <clears throat> you, you've got a bit of health. Um, you can... You stand... you go there and attack from the top... Oh, it's got a bit of an advantage on you there. Um, can I deal some damage with... this guy's gonna die, but uh, he can take someone with him. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You can try and take out this guy. Hopefully you'll be able to do it in two. And if I'm very lucky, you may not just um, get yourself killed. Now you could... Now, if this one runs forward now, he could probably take out this mage. But if he does, he will probably die himself. Because then there's another mage, two archers, and another archer who... Ah, okay, maybe not. He's not quite in range. So, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be bold. Fortune favours the bold! Okay, we have our first level 2 unit. This is an elvish rider, Pythian. And you, lady, do we want you to survive? Does, do, we, does it, do we mind if you survive? Well, if you can kill this Magus, then that would save a guy with more experience. So I think that's probably worth it. <coughs> or you could just fail. And um, yeah, fantastic. Ah, sigh. Uh, she got a slow in before she bit the dust. Um, now what about the greens? Dang it. Oh no, not the horse! Yeah, that also was predictable. Uh -huh, I haven't played this very well. Can... yeah, Gallus, you now can get in and get a Magus kill, though I always say that, but um, everyone seems completely, completely incapable of taking out this one Magus. Let's you be the exception. 
Yeah, there we go. Now just don't die. Hmm. You come out and try and whack this bowman. Not bad, not bad. And try and get the archer to get the kill. Yes. All right, and then this one. Doesn't really matter where you stand, does it? Um, you take out this guy here. There's reinforcements, but the reinforcements are all quite far away, and the only other relevant reinforcement is this one, so you should be able to go in, uh, get some big heavy hits in on this guy here. Or just one big heavy hit, that works too. Doesn't work, but yeah. So, um, it's that one's probably going to try and kill Quosor, uh, and uh, that would be terrible because we would lose out on our exposition. Let's see how it goes. At least with all my units dead, I've got a better old gold income now. You failed. And now, unfortunately, it's the Long Dark. So this campaign uses the sun mechanics from Under the Burning Suns. So normal games have basically dawn, morning, afternoon, dusk, night, night, and then dawn again. But this game has a short night and a long night, and we're currently in the long night, and unfortunately the long night lasts for flipping ages. And uh, that will advantage these Chaos people. Fortunately, I've mostly cleaned them up, so um, I should just be able to continue doing so. Right, you're looking pretty hench. Um, you can come round here and give this guy a good whacking. That did not work out as well as I hoped. Um, Galas, can you... No, you can't finish him off, can you? Um, and even you, if he hits with both his attacks, you will die. So, what about the archer? Mm, yeah, you've got a better shot at it, even so. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this quite defensively still. It's still night time after all. Um, you pull back a bit. You go around there, try and get some hits in. <coughs> Or kill him. Yeah, you could do that. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but there you go. And here, in principle, everyone could actually stay where they are because they'll get some health if they do that. So yeah, let's do that. Someone could go back and uh, rest up in the in, in the house. Or Galas could go back and recruit another dude. That probably makes more sense. I'll do that. Just have enough money, and it'll be a hunter this time. Because all my hunters bit the dust. Crying face emoji. Alright, now, this person is probably going to come up and try and shoot my fighter who's out in the open. And um, take him down to almost no health. Lol. Well, that wasn't too bad. But there is a magic dude coming, so better be uh, beware. Beware of the magic dude. Attack! Alright. Um, you're both quite far away. So you come in and try and get the kill. And if you do, you should level up. Or maybe Galas. No, he can't quite reach. Okay, um, because you don't have a ton of health, I'm going to make you into a ranger. Um, rangers are sneakier, uh, and they are a little bit tougher in combat, whereas the marksmen are the people who can really deal damage with the bows. But I think, I mean, the rangers can, rangers have eight attacks, sorry, four attacks that do eight damage, so rangers are pretty good at range as well. So now it's going to be the ranger for this one, because otherwise he won't have enough health to make it. 
Um, so, start moving out, start recapturing some, uh, some territory. Now, if you go over there, horseman, you're going to get whacked by the mage, but you can, you can take that, you're, you're tough. Um, as for you, you... Can anyone reach... No, no one can reach the greenhouse. That's really annoying. No one wants to take that one back. Oh well. Um, you go to the red house. You go down here. You go down here. You go down here and everyone will be able to gain some health from our friendly neighborhood shaman. The only one left alive. And then gradually I'm going to have to start pushing forward towards these Chaos People's bases. Okay, so he took the damage, but he also dished out the damage, and he's going to get healed next turn. Oh, and it's the daytime. That's good news. So we can't quite get in on this mage. Um... Again, not quite sure what the best plan of action is here. Should I be pushing forward fast? The faster you end these scenarios, the more experience you get, the more you get for the next levels. Um, so the, what, what the correct play here is not obvious to me. Um, I think... Uh, I'm just going to try and whack this guy with the... Horse. Okay, he's almost dead. Um, try and get... Galas over here to do some kill stealing. How far can you reach, my dude? Not far enough. You go there. Someone who needs lots of health. This fighter is probably the, my, my best bet for actually leveling up and uh, being of some practical use. The rest of you... Um, it's a pity they've got so many... But they've got so many flippin' villages, um, it's really irritating. Um, so... If you come down here, then the mage will... No, not yet. Next turn, next turn. Alright, let's try that out for size. Got a good gold income now, um, and maybe Galas can then stop off at this middle base and recruit some more dudes. Not going to attack with the mage? Ha! What a coward. Alright, so now it's the daytime, and I ought to just be able to mop these guys up relatively straightforwardly. Because there's not much in the way of reinforcements coming either. Oh, I should have left this one to get the kill. Oh no, this is the one I want to get the kill. So, can you do it? Can you get three hits in? Maybe. Worth a try. No, not quite. Oh well, can the, um... Can the shame bring it in? <laughs> Um, how's this, how's this, look at, how's this guy's movement looking? Uh, he's got quite a lot. Okay, he's going to be able to attack the Shaman if I move her there. Nah, it's worth a try. And, yeah. Yes, okay. Having leveled up Shamans is definitely, definitely good in the late game, uh, in this sort of campaign. Alright, so you come and stand there, uh, and you should be able to... And you two, you stand there, um, and then you should be protecting the shaman. So, you, my friend, um, I want to get some quick hits in on this archer. Let's just first, oh, slight misclick there. Let's just uh, try and get Galas to get this kill. You just got punched by a weakling. I think that reflects very badly on you, Gallus. And you come forward and stand. Oh wait, no, you can get more health by going to the house. You go to the house. You go and heal up. You'll need your health. And as for you, 
you want to come here and shoot some and, and slash at this guy. All right. Right, hopefully I'll be able to clear this up. And Gallus, you now can recruit a couple of extra blokes. And I can say blokes. I'm going to get me a fighter. Should I get myself another shaman? Uh, I kind of need a shaman, but equally... I want something that's going to be able to dish out some damage. Hmm, tough one. Okay. Um, no, I'm not going to get a shaman right now. I will instead get myself a hunter. You run back and heal. It's tempting now to run out with Gallus, but I know that he's quite likely to die if I do that. Maybe I should actually... No, he can't. He can't move. Okay. Well, let's just hope he doesn't get killed. Over here, on the other hand, things are going a lot better. I need to reassign some troops. You go there. You try and slow him down. Very nice. You... How long would it take you to run over here? Not long. You run. You go here. And... Yeah, I mean, this guy, it's daytime, he's slowed, he's going to be doing so little damage. Do these guys have the ability that means if you attack... No, that's the... Um, their evolution has the ability where if you attack... Um, if you attack them from the opposite side, it's like a flanking attack and you do double damage. I can't remember what that's called, but it's not ambush. Ambush just means that you can hide in forests, which is not all that exciting. Especially against the AI. The AI does not... He seemed to be all that bothered about whether you're in a forest or not. Okay, um, probably just um, see if the ranger gets it. The ranger gets it. You go there, get a bit more health. You come out here, and hopefully we'll be able to repel this little assault on this side too. These guys are tough. That's an arbalestier. An arbalestier. All right, thanks for giving Gallus some experience points. Maybe you can even get the kill. There's another green coming up here. Which of these leaders am I going to take out first? That's the question. Or am I going to lose? I should, I should keep saying things like this because then I hopefully won't actually lose. Okay, you do your slowing. And now you should just be able to bring it home. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, so frustrating. <clears throat> okay. Let's figure out what else we can do. Next time, next time. You come and slow this guy, um, or shall I let the shaman do that? No, the shaman can't get in. Okay, you do the slowing. And then you come and do some shooting, and hopefully you'll soften them up for someone else to... Not as soft as I would have liked. All right. All right, this is um, quick and strong one. This is um, Quosor. It's Quosor. Given that he was the tutorial guy, I feel like I ought to be trying to give him the experience. So let's see if he can do it. He can't do it. Nope, he is not in a position to do it. All right, so that means that Felor is going to have to try. But not a problem for Felor. You're the man! Now then over here, um, I think it's fairly obvious what Tesor is going to have to do. 
Now you stay where you are. And he's going to go in there and attack my hunter, isn't he? Ah, oh, he's going to go in there and attack my hunter. Oh well, I'll be able to kill him. Doing great on turns here. It would be nice to have some more time available to me. You come round and try and shoot him. And fail. You go up there. Oh, okay. So now you... How do I want to deal with the rest? Let's assume that Galas can get the finishing strike. Then... This guy is going to be my next concern. And I should just plonk someone tanky in front of him so that he gets some good hits. Um, unfortunately, tanky is not something that applies hugely well to most level 1 elves. Um, you. You go there. You stay where you are, you will gain health if you do that. You'll get up to full health again. You, he will come up to there, attack this guy, hopefully not kill him. Should kill him. It's getting to dusk. The sun's getting real low. You... Now... Who have we got down here? We've got this guy. And again, I could do the same thing. How tanky is Tissor? Not very tanky. How tanky is this guy? Uh, not all that tanky either. Oh well. Um, you go down there. And then you'll get attacked by this one. You can go up there to support him, and then some of these people can go up there to support as well. You need to recruit someone. Um, and this time I am going to recruit another shaman, because the shamans well, might, might be useful later on for some slowing. And, yeah, try and... Oh, this is a tricky one. You know, do I go for four chances to get the kill? Or do I go for fewer chances? And, no, I don't want to... See, if I do this, Galas could actually get killed. So I'm going to try this one. And it pays off. So here I get to make the first actually meaningful decision of the whole campaign. I get to choose whether Galas becomes a hero or a captain. And I am going to go with Hero because I think it's going to be important for him to be able to dish out damage and for him to survive more hits. And that's going to only get more and more important as the campaign goes on. So, okay, you're a hero. My next Elven Warrior to level up will be a champion. If you don't all get yourself killed, that is. Okay, you people stay there. And then I think we've got enough on all flanks to deal with the enemies that are coming at us. Could have been nasty. Well, he wouldn't have died, but... Is it he or she? Okay, so now you... Come on in and get the entangle attack. And slow them, and now some of these... Uh, even though it's the night time, hopefully some of these guys will be able to come in and uh, finish it off. Let's try... Who's going to go first? Um, Quosor, you go first. Mm -hmm. And you go and get yourself some healing. If she's still there, that is, which she probably won't be. And you get the kill. Yes, all right. Felor now needs one more kill. Felor's quick and strong. Felor will make a fairly decent captain, I think. A fairly decent captain. Okay, and now this one is going to get ranged. Not super effectively. Um, try and get Galas the kill. Or maybe... Yeah, let's get Galas the kill. Uh, 
Nice. Okay. Now there is an archer in my face, and I could go super aggressive and have this hunter slow them. It is night time, so I could take a ton of damage if I do that. Still, I kind of feel like it's the best move, because otherwise either Kelly or my ranger is going to take some beatdown, or someone else's. Um, it's only the short dark anyway, so it'll be morning, and um, we got to hope the arbalester doesn't come out of his little house. Okay, let's do that. This person, I mean, I might well end up never recalling them again anyway. Because they're on so few experience. Alright, you come down for some backup. You come here and heal up these two a little bit. You come down here. You will get some health as well. Oh, I need a druid. Druids are so much better at healing. And that's it for this turn. <laughs> Still at it with the ranged smackdown. Now I'm going to pull everyone across to the right and deal with the slightly tankier of these two heroes first. It seems like I think that's probably the safest bet at the moment. Um, yeah. You step back into the trees. Homer Simpson style. Um, and you... Have a good whack at this bowman. Gory, his name is. Hopefully he will be after... Oh, almost. All right, someone else gets the kill. Um, what about Tessor? You, you want to kill or do you want to go and grab that? You, you go and grab that, um, that village. That's more useful for you to do. Um, I can give the kill to my elvish rider. Okay. Tezor is up in the enemy's face. You can go into the forest. You um, you can go into the forest and be invisible. That's pretty cool. See? Ambush. Awesome ability. You can get some health. You ideally should also get some health. I'm going to pull these guys back. Um, they're going to run away like the cowards they are. How far can you... You can only get to there. So... I'm pulling you back to here. You go there. You go there. And all is well. And hopefully I'll be able to bring this in in the next... Well, 11 turns, otherwise I'll lose the game. Stupid mages. Alright, you guys, some of you are in range of the Magus, so you can go in and start getting some, hopefully some, uh, ah, oh, this dude is so tough, and he's going to keep recruiting, oh, okay, but you can still try and get in there and, and uh, get some meaty hits in. Can we get anyone to slow? No one is quite close enough yet who has the slow ability. I'm going to kill the Magus first. Ah, but then I can't move the other guys. Ah, choices, choices. Well, Galas, you stay back because I don't want you getting shot. Yes. Okay, now, yes, now you can get in and do some slowing, hopefully. Fingers crossed one of these will hit. Yes. Except, so okay, um, I mean, Manathiel took one for the team. And the rest of you can jump in and start laying some smack down. This is a level three, unbelievably tanky leader for a first scenario of the game. Um, you can go in and oh, shoot. Yeah, might as well shoot. It's only three damage difference. And you, you don't want to shoot because you're better at slashing things anyway. Or just about as good, and you won't take much damage. Thanks, Pethy, and that was useless. All right, now you run up and provide some healing. You... Oh, what are we going to do with this guy?
could just bite the bullet and run in. It's the daytime after all. It's only the morning. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, slow your face. Or not. Run! Very slowly. Slow, slow elves, just like the elves in the films and the books and the things. And you... Yeah, don't want you to die, so you go behind the shaman. And that'll be that. Slow, yes. Well, he's already slowed. And now he's not anymore. Slow, yes. I'm going to need to turn the volume down on those sound effects, aren't I? Yes. Can... Yes, Galas can get in. Alright, so you... Just do some generic damage. And then you... Step out for a second. Let's see how much damage... Okay, it's unlikely that Galas is going to get the kill if I na attack now. So let's use the horseman for a moment instead. Just with the weaker attack. Huh. Okay, well, this rider just kill stole from kill stole from my general. That's annoying. What can you do? Oh well. You can get some more uh, you can get some more some more villagers, that's what you can do. You can always do that. And you now where are you gonna run to? Another village? Yeah, I want the village. Right, you run in for some sneaky slowing. Good. And you go and do some damage. And then let's hopefully see Thelor get the level. Yes, there we go. You can be a captain, my friend. Oh, captain, my captain. You run up here and get some health. You... What do you want to do? Um, where's this horse? This horse has got quite a lot of range. Okay. So this horse is going to be in combat already this turn. Okay, you go around there and wait it out. And then hopefully I'll be able to close it out relatively quickly. was cheeky. Attack the shaman, why don't you? Now, maybe we can even get this shaman to get the kill if we get lucky here. Um, you can, can you slow? Yeah, you can slow. You stand next to him and do some slowing. Now, someone step in and get some big hits. Maybe even the captain himself. Not exactly showing him how it's done, but, uh, but well. You do what you can with the materials you have available to you. You can go full on. You can use your bow. Might get the kill here. Didn't get the kill here. But the shaman. Oh no. Oh, come on. Two hits, two hits. Come on, two hits. Nope. Okay, well, next turn. Or maybe the horse will suicide, who knows. Sometimes the horse is suicide. You get that. You run down here. You want to go and stand on the fire? Um, don't, don't tell me that the scenario inventor has put a burning effect on if that happens. Nope, good. <laughs> that would have been really irritating. Okay, now, you... You want to go there and get bonked. It's the daytime. If he comes out of his house, he's dead anyway. And you come forward and get a bit of health. Right, right, okay. So now, now, hopefully. Yes, there we go. Okay, this shaman now is so close to leveling up and then I'll have a druid, which will make the rest of the campaign 
immeasurably easier. You could go in. You could go and have a whack. Let's see what these other guys are, are ready to do. The horse is not quite fast enough. You can go. Have some uninterrupted arrow action. I think you probably better serve running and getting some health, though. Yeah. And then the person can't do as much recruitment, hopefully. Everyone is slow, so slow at going across the dunes. They're not sand elves. Alright, you just go down there. You run up to here. And you guys just keep on trucking, I guess. Okay, nighttime fighting against the big bad. And uh, Andy has brought a friend. Um, now there's two strategies here. Basically, you can try and take out the big bad so quickly that he doesn't have time to do anything. But I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to pull that one off. I think it's going to be a stretch. Um, Gallus, yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? Um, so then that means I ought to try and kill the weak one first. So I'm going to probably sacrifice this hunter. So that I can more easily deal damage. Oh, I should have brought the captain into position. All right. Well, now the captain... Yeah, that's good. So now you... Two hits. Two hits out of four. It's possible? It's not possible. Wah -wah. And you come and do some healing. Next turn, next turn. You get some shooting in. You get some shooting in. You also get some shooting in. I should have gone full on and melee attacked him, but it doesn't make any difference at this point, to be honest. In there, and you're going to be slogging across the dunes for the rest of time. All right, next turn I should hopefully be able to bring home the bacon. Ooh. That seems pretty jammy. Okay, well now I'm in a good position, and first of all, first thing I'm going to do... Oh yeah! We've got a dexterous, intelligent, elvish druid, and now... Healing will be a dream come true. Um, now I could level up Quosaur to be... Now there's a few things I could do here. I could get Galas more experience. I could try and level up Quosaur. Um, yeah, it's... There's, there's not all that much in it at, at this point. Um, or I could even try and level up this rider to level 3. Either way, they'll all be in good positions next time round. Um, I feel like... The most sensible thing right now would be to have an extra level 2 unit, because this is going to be a tough campaign, I can see that already. So you just, yeah, you just go in there and, um, can the captain come round? The captain boosts people standing next to him of a lower level. Still not great, but, um, better. So try that. There we go. And now Quosaur could be a captain or a hero, I'm going to have another hero. We defeated them in time, but that raiding party was quite large and well organized for a tribe of humans, and their metalwork seems beyond the capabilities of regular sand dwellers. This does not bode well. That's it for today. I am victorious, and I will see you again for the next scenario. I hope, unless you have stopped listening to me.